In this video, I'm going to create a multi-boot flash drive. So open your web browser and type in Ventoy. Ventoy is the software that we're going to use to create a bootable flash drive. Go to downloads. I'm going to download the Windows version. I save it on my desktop. Next, you want to download the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Click Download Now. I'm going to save that on my desktop. Now I'm using a 64 gigabyte flash drive. I'm going to extract the file to my desktop. I'm going to run the program. So this is the flash drive that I will be using. I'm going to install Ventoy in this flash drive. One thing to note is make sure that you don't have any files that you need stored in this flash drive because it's going to format it. And when it does the format, it's going to delete everything on that flash drive. So I'm going to click on install. Click yes. Click yes. okay close that close that next i'm going to run the media creation tool the media creation tool will download windows click on accept click on create installation media click next you can uncheck this if you want to download a 32 bit or 64 bit of windows 10 i'm going to click on both click next i'm going to download the iso file click next i'm going to save that on my desktop wait until that is downloaded so the download has finished so I'm going to click on finish. Now, one thing to note, you want to make sure that you're getting your windows from Microsoft and nowhere else. Now I'm going to download windows 11. I'm going to download the ISO file. Select the language. I'm going to download this 64 bit. Save that on my desktop. I'm going to wait until that is downloaded. So the download is already completed. The next operating system I'm going to download is Linux. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to click on download. Save it on my desktop. I'm going to wait until that is downloaded. So the download is already completed. So I have all the operating systems that I needed. 
So all I need to do is to click on the flash drive that I installed Ventoy. Copy and paste the operating system into that flash drive. Next, I'm going to wait until that is completed. The files are already transferred. Now I can use this flash drive to reload these operating systems on my computer. So that's how you create a multi-boot flash drive. You can add more operating system onto the flash drive so long you have enough space on it. So that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe and bye for now.